hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel so recently i was working on something and we were showing two different kpis actually in a different graphs and we have a very uh, n number of kpis already into the dashboard so it makes our dashboard clumsy so what i propose that if we cut down the kpis by having some show hide button that will ease our task and at the same time we can give her uh, the uh, information that client actually want to see so uh, let's say we have two different graphs sales by quantity sales by category now if i need to create a button if i click on quantity then this chart should pop up and this should hide and if i click on sales button then it should uh, create the sales chart should pop up and quantity one should be done so i have already created one demo so here i have already clicked on the chart button uh, quantity and if i click on sales the sales will pop up so now let's see how we can create in an easier manner okay so let's get started and here the data set i have used is a very simple data sets where we have categories sales and quantity and by in which month it has been sold so it's a very simple demo data that i have created so let's get started if I go to this cluster column, let's take cluster columns first, create quantity sales chart by category. Now, if I let's copy paste it here only, uh, do some alignment. Now for this particular chart, let's create by quantity. Now the next task, since you have already created this KPI, you might have been. Now let's create a button. Let's go to blank button create let's do a bit of formatting let's have some naming of this and let's select text let's select sales simple or I can select so sales chart let's increase the font let's say 20 bold okay this is what I have now let's get another button oops sorry so let's create another chart button which will be my quantity chart quantity chart done and this is being done let's resize and format it now what we need to do so if i click on sales chart my sales chart should pop up if i click on quantity chart now this quantity chart should so now there is a very interesting thing that we need to go do we need to go for format sorry we need to go to view section where in view section first we need to create the bookmark so this bookmark will help me to create this visualization so i have previously i have already created so let's delete these bookmark that would be let's do it from scratch so we have to create on add bookmarks rename it as to sales okay then add one more bookmark let's add as quantity okay we have added this thing now if i go to selection so when i'm selecting sales okay i need to select the button so first let me rename it the buttons to make it our life easy because in real practice we might be having n numbers of buttons so it's best practice to have uh, the naming convention at the beginning of any of your project so let's have the sales and the quantity sales and the quantity now what i need to do if i click on sales one this is my bookmark i need to hide the other chart so if i go to higher sales i need to catch sales by category sales by quantity i need to click on this i mark go to this and i have to update now if i go to quantity bookmark then quantity then i have to and uh, close the eye for my sales by quantity so this is this so if i do this and i have to update so if i click on here if you see sales the sales this is still we are not completed so because we need to click on the bookmark it's still not actionable so we need to create one more thing that action need to be done on this page. so once you select the sales show chart by show sales chart you will see the something format option will come up you need to create this action on 
drop down which type of an action you need to create so we have already created the bookmark as sales we need to go here select the sales and this is done now click on this quantity one select the on option toggle the button bookmark then select quantity now so if you see here the sales by quantity is here now we if we click here sales by chart so this is done so this is how easily you can create the using bookmark and selection and that makes our life easy because in actual practice there will be n number of very simple chart but n number of charts and there will be a lot of information so how you can present it uh, to the client that is something most important here so this is how easily you can prepare and hope that helps to you follow for me or more videos that actually in real life we've uh, faced the issues and we will show so the next thing that i'm going to target is only having one chart let's have filter and based on the filter i will have the this show a height chart and we remember that these are coming from different field so that will add a one layer difficulty on the top of that filter so stay tuned to my channel follow for my more power bearing videos